Well, good morning, grace and peace to everybody. Welcome to Find the Intersection. My name is Paul Desay. And today we were talking, uh, since it's Wednesday, we're talking Old Testament. And the story that we're going to be talking about today is found in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 to 15. 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 to 15. And so the Old Testament passage this week is about Elijah running. Uh, he's afraid, running for his life, and uh, he uh, ends up experiencing God in an amazing way, an unexpected way, uh, that uh, God meets him where he is. And so that's the context in which we're talking about today. So a few things that uh, stood out to me. Number one is that Elijah felt alone. I was reading a book yesterday called uh, My Name is Hope by John Mark Comer, and where he talked about in this passage that uh, uh, Elijah was experiencing depression. Um, and he was so depressed that he was suicidal uh, in this passage. And you see that. You see that. He was uh, afraid. He, was, uh, he felt alone. And I think that aloneness, the loneliness, really drove him to the point of depression. Um, and God meets him where he's at. He's alone. Uh, even God provided food twice, right? An angel messenger provided food twice for him, and he still felt alone. Uh, so God's meeting him, continue to pour out his grace upon his life. He's continuing to, to love where he's at. And uh, I, I find that significant. And, and God does that for us, too, when we find ourselves depressed, whether it is uh, a life depression or clinical depression. God meets us where we are and speaks to us and continues and never gives up. Uh, the second thing that I, I, I found incredibly significant, and this is probably what is so well known in this passage, is the part of how God speaks to Elijah. It's not the fire, it's not the earthquake, it's not the wind, it's the uh, still small voice. And in Hebrew, it probably would be best translated as the sound of silence. So God speaks in the sound of silence, which is just awesome. Uh, and, and deep down, we all crave it in, in our noise, cluttered, loud society, uh, overloaded with uh, stuff and technology. Um, we, we desire stillness and, and silence. Uh, and, and that's how God speaks to us. So there is a certain sense that God is speaking to us in the midst of our depression, in the midst of our loneliness. But we need to not look in the big, loud stuff. We need to look in the silence. We need to listen in the midst of silence. And that is the reason why uh, so many of the grace habits are important for us, uh, solitude and silence and Sabbath. And, uh, you know, th those are those are times when God speaks to us. And if we're looking in the big, the loud uh, way, sometimes we might miss his still small voice. And then the third thing is that this voice ministers to Elijah. And it's interesting that um, he he no longer feels alone after he hears this still small voice. In other words, the presence of God as God speaks to us when we hear his voice in the midst of the silence makes us uh, realize that we're not alone, that he's with us. And I think that for, for me, that's important for me today. And I'm not sure if that's what you needed to hear today is that uh, even though you uh, are not hearing him in the ways that maybe you expect to hear them, uh, he is speaking to you uh, and you are not alone. And so uh, whatever fear that is uh, causing you to run, whatever emotion that you're experiencing today, um, yeah, hear the good news that God's with you in the midst of it. And uh, not only is God with you, he, he wants to use you. And so he calls uh, Elijah to go and uh, to be a part of his mission. And uh, that's what God speaks to us today. Yeah, even though we're alone, even though we're afraid, even though uh, we're, we're struggling, um, we're depressed. God uh, still has a plan for us. So, hey, hope that's good news for you today. Hey, that's all I got. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Love this passage so much there. We could talk for hours upon hours on it. But, um, hey, yeah, share your thoughts. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Psalms. Hey, take care, everybody. Grace and peace.